Hi, Peter from Callouts here. Today I'm really excited to share our latest template collection with you, mockups for Camtasia. Using mockups is a practical way to show your images, videos and brand in a little more realistic and immersive manner. Our new mockup collection includes 21 different drag and drop ready Camtasia templates. And to speed up your workflow, we've included each one in three different lengths, so you get 63 templates in total. I've put together a brief showreel to highlight the various mockups. Let's check it out! In each of these templates, you can exchange the orange and purple placeholder directly in the quick properties, just by dragging and dropping in your video. I'll demonstrate this shortly. As you can see, we've included many different areas of mockups. You'll find offices, computers and mobile phones, billboard signs, vintage televisions, notebooks and more. Ok, so let's take a look at how to use these templates. Once you've downloaded and unzipped the template collection, you can install them directly into Camtasia. These will work in Camtasia 2023 and later versions. You will find the templates in a folder called 097 Mockups. In that folder you have three subfolders with different durations. Pick the duration that works for your image or video. In this case let's pick a 5 second duration. Hmm, let's see. Let's use mockup number 2 here. So I drag it to the timeline. I place the marker above the template so I can see it in the canvas area. Now if we take a look in the quick properties on the right hand side you can see that there are two boxes you can edit. The video image field is where you drag in your video or image. You can do this either from the media bin or alternatively directly from your computer. The templates have been made to fit 1920 x 1080 pixels full HD video and images. If you for example have an image with other dimensions, you can still edit this in the template itself. Let's drag in a video here and see how it looks. Nice! For this template, we also have a second box that controls the shadow and light beams you see here. We can remove it directly by simply clicking the X. Alternatively, we can go into the template and adjust the opacity down if you feel that it is overshadowing your asset. Some of the templates have other settings as well. So that's basically how easy it is to use these templates. I really hope you like them. Before we wrap up this video, I also wanted to show you how to edit the dimensions manually if you have an asset that doesn't quite fit the full HD dimensions. Let's pick template number 10, a subway billboard. And I'll drag an image from our business images available on callouts. Let's pick this handshake image. The dimensions for this image are 3300 times 2000 pixels, so it will be somewhat cropped. It doesn't look too bad as the dimensions are almost fitting, but as you can see we now got a black bar on each side. To fix this, I simply click on the little plus sign of the template on the timeline. I click on the image itself and in the canvas area I resize it. Now it's a little bit off to the left. I can fix this by holding down shift and nudging it sideways with the cursor keys. Alternatively, I can drag it in the canvas area, but because the image is placed on the bottom, I have to lock the tracks above, not to drag them instead. Let's go out of the template and to the main timeline and take a look. As you can see in the quick properties, there is also an animation effect on the lights here. If you wish, you can remove the light effects altogether by clicking the X in the quick properties area. So that's just a few examples of how you can edit your Camtasia mockups. That's it for this time. If you like our templates and want to stay updated, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you very soon.